on that cross God was laying on Jesus our sins. They not only put nails in his hands, but before that they scourged him. A Roman scourge was a terrible thing. They took whips and pellets on those whips and beat a person almost to death. And then they took that cross and made him carry the cross, which was in his weakened condition was almost impossible. But he carried that cross to a place outside of Jerusalem. And then they put nails in his hands. But that was not the real suffering. The real suffering is when he said, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In that terrible moment, he and God the Father were separated. He shed his blood, and the shedding of that blood carries with it God's very life. The blood is the meeting place between God and man. And the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness. And that's what Christ was doing on the cross. He was making atonement for our sins, and he was shedding his blood. Now, when you take the blood out, that means you're giving your life. And that's what it means. It means the life of Christ. The cross and the resurrection of Christ offers forgiveness of sin, offers a whole new life, and offers you eternal life if you come to the cross by repentance and faith.